today on the table, I've got a HP Pavilion 13 BL B110TU. Now this particular one, I'm just wanting to open it up just to check out the battery. Or from once I've opened it up, I will eventually replace the battery in this exact model. But this is a bit of a how-to to replace it. So to begin with, take out all the Phillips head screws that you can see. Now in this particular video, I do do it incorrectly and there's and failed to remove two screws at the very bottom of the screen. So you should be able to see the gray rubber circles. The bottom two nearest to the hinges come off. You should be able to pry them off with a pair of tweezers. And then there's two more Phillips head screws under there. Also, there's a couple of rectangle, rounded rectangles. There's also two screws under there hidden as well. So in total, there's four screws that are hidden on this machine. Then once you remove all the screws, you should be able to just pry or push down around the various edges of this laptop and that should pop the bottom cover off. So once you get it to a stage like this, hopefully we've got all the screws removed. I don't at this particular point and that's why it doesn't want to leave. But I will leave this plane. And now that I've removed those two hidden screws, this will make opening this up considerably easier. One thing to do that you will need is a bit of caution because the keyboard does come up and off. There is three flex cables connected underneath, which we'll see in just one second. But those flex connectors is one for the touch panel, one for the keyboard, and also one for the power button. So see those there, two in the center of the screen and one in the bottom left, a white cord near the CPU fan. So they, the clips themselves just flick upwards and then from there, you should be able to disconnect them. So hopefully following these steps, you will be able to get into your HP Pavilion 13. So from there, you should be able to do a few things, potentially clean dust, replace a battery, or upgrade to an SSD, which this particular one already has an M.2 installed. So anyway, I'll catch you later and see you in the next video. Bye.